，总统蔡英文出访友邦，回程过境美国洛杉矶，与美国众议院议长麦卡锡于加州雷根图书馆进行历史性会晤，创下台湾总统首次在美国本土与美国政坛第三号人物会面的记录，被视为台美外交重大突破。会谈现场挤进近两百家各国媒体。这场闭门性会谈包括麦卡锡在内，共有十八位共和党、民主党两党跨党派众议员与会。会后，总统与麦卡锡共同发表谈话。总统表示，感谢麦卡锡议长的盛情接待，以及跨党派国会领袖在百忙之中拨冗与会。大家的参与和坚定支持，让台湾人民了解没有被孤立，并不孤单。There is saying in the Confucian analysts that is one. Who is virtuous will not stand alone. In our efforts to protect our way of life, Taiwan is grateful to have the United States of America by our side. As we confront the unique challenges of our time, let us be mindful of the principles that have forged our great partnerships, and bear in mind the lessons. President Reagan's enduring legacy. 麦卡锡指出，当前台美关系是他此生中最强健的时刻，而蔡总统无疑是重要推手。有蔡总统参与，台美关系只会更加坚强。Taiwan is a successful democracy, a thriving economy, and a global leader in health and science. And whether it's our deep commercial ties. Strong people-to-people -people relationships, our shared values, our cooperation with the people of Taiwan continue to expand through dialogue and exchange. The friendship between the people of Taiwan and America is a matter of profound importance to the free world, and it is critical to maintain economic freedom, peace, and regional stability. 而会后，麦卡锡也与十七位跨党派国会议员举行共同记者会。麦卡锡表示，会谈无意升高区域紧张，但面对中国威胁挑战，两党展现共识无所畏惧，对台湾的支持坚定不移。麦卡锡也总结了与蔡总统会谈的三大重点。Based on our conversations, it's clear that there are several actions are necessary. First, we must continue to The arms sales to Taiwan and make sure such sales reach Taiwan on a very timely basis. Second, we must strengthen our economic cooperation, particularly with trade and technology. Third, we must continue to promote our shared values on the world stage. 这是蔡总统继去年八月三号与总统府接见时任众议院议长佩洛西后，约八个月内第二次会见美国众议院议长。美国媒体《华盛顿邮报》指出，蔡总统这次访问标志着八年来努力提升台湾国际形象与强化跟共享民主价值各国关系的高峰。